Welcome everyone to this Inventor HSM Quick Tip, Creating Custom Form Mills. For this segment, we're going to begin by creating a custom form mill IPT. Select the Start 2D Sketch command, and then select the XZ plane to begin sketching on. After we select our plane, we'll begin by drawing a center line using the Line command and the Center Line Override. Turn off the Center Line Override, and continue to sketch the outside profile of the revolved sketch. I'm going to include a fillet in the sketch so that it shows up in the profile once I revolve the part and use it as an HSM cutter. Now we'll add dimensions around the sketch to lock down the profile shape. I'm going to select the inner tangent edge and the center line I drew to give my profile a diameter for my cutter. Next, I'll select the vertical line that represents the shaft diameter and the center line to create the shaft dimension. Now that we have all of our dimensions, we can select the Finish Sketch command and then select the Revolve command. Accept the defaults for full rotation and select OK. Now we simply need to name our file and save it in a location where we can get to it. Now select a library from your list that you want to enter the tool into and select New Mill Tool. Select the Cutter tab from the Type drop-down, scroll to the bottom and select Form Mill, and select the units that you wish your tool to be. Now in the center of the screen, select the Import File. Open the Inventor model that you created as your Form Mill. If your tool is upside down, use the Flip command to set it to the right orientation. Now you can input the dimensional values for the diameter and the length of your tool. For my tool, I'll insert a tip offset to match the tangent point at the top of my radius. You'll notice on the graphics window for each dimensional value that we input, the graphic continues to change until it meets our needs. Continue adding all your information until you finalize your cutter. Now click on the Holder tab, and then hit the Select button. This will open up a window of predefined holders. Choose a holder from the list that fits your needs, and then hit the Select button. Now you can select the Feed and Speed tab, and enter specific information about your cutter. Information values we enter here become the defaults when this tool is used in a toolpath. Making selections now saves time later. On the General tab, Enter information in the description in order to search for your tool later. I like to create a description that's unique for this tool. I also add comment information and vendor information in this window as well. Here you can also add the material of your cutter as well as coolant options. Select OK when you're finished and you now have your custom form tool in a library ready to use for HSM.